Good morning folks. Welcome back to Balaburn. Wandering, investigating, bushcraft, anything out and about, having a good time in the wilds. Right with Ricky in a currently vacant sheep field, the back harbour Nethy, looking over that way to Castle Law, site of an old Iron Age fort, and back down into the village there. So been climbing away. Done a big good bit of climbing since leaving the village. So we're heading up to have a nosy at Nethyburn and Tarduff. There has been some posts in the village site recently about a little dam that had been built, so I'm just having a wee look at it just to see what's what. So join me on my travels. Okay, well, we're now at the division point between Tarda and Nethy, which is down here. We've just come through that little gate behind us through the field. So let's have a walk along here. We've got Brecky, as always, down in the river. So all he wants to do is have fun in the river. Follow this ridge between the two burns. See what we can see further up. Let's have a look up here. Oh! And that's the little path there that takes you up towards Pitnedin. In the distance, we already see the Abernethy Lynns. Isn't it lovely? Nice sight. And down there, Nethy Burn, is a trickle. Nothing going on with that. Oh, a lot of wreckies want to play in the water. So we'll follow this ridge here. Interesting over there, isn't it? Those stones look like they've been placed by Mankind, I'm a bit ordered. Come on, let's go quick. Follow the ridge, don't fall in. Oh, that's very picturesque, isn't it? Very nice. Ugh. Oh, you're there again. And that, my friends, is Abernethy Lynn. It's lovely, doesn't it? Let's have a closer look. Ugh. Up we go. Ugh. Beautiful. Ugh. Ricky, come. That's nice. That's a nice view of the Lynn's. Right. That's the way we like it, not too crazy. I'll be inspecting a little dam in a second, see what's what. We'll have a wee rest here for a minute and carry on my wanderings. Alright folks, you join me and Breck, looking up the top of that little rocky bit there is the turned off. And that's where it normally cascades down. Down, down, down. That's the gate. <laughs> Obviously, this has been created by the last big floods and into the burn. I mean, if anybody wants to use rocks to shore up the defences, and you do not want to be taking it from a dry stained dike, for goodness sake, and come down here, there is tons and tons of stones. Just need to get it up to the top there. Got a bit of effort, a bit of teamwork we can have. Quite an impressive little structure. Okay, top tip. Right, let's head up and we'll have a look at the top and we'll, we'll head back. See what's what. Ooh. Ooh. Right, what a lovely tree this is. Really like it. I think it's an old beech tree. It is, a lot of beech nuts. What a beauty, eh? Oh, I think I should watch where I'm going rather than camera screen. Hey Bricky, Brick, this way, come. Oh, yeah. 
Come on. Up, up, this way. Break. Oi. Get this way. No. Come on. There it is. Oof. That's the climb. Oof. Here it is. Abernethy's own dam, the Tardoff Dam. I think somebody's added a wee bit to it since I was last here, folks. <laughs> Make it a well worth it. It's looking fine now. Here's a wee bridge across the Tardoff. Right, well, have a look at the wall now and see if there's any evidence of pilfering. So it shouldn't be happening. As I say, there's plenty of stones further down. The down there. Right, Rick. All right. I mean, there is a obvious gap in the wall here. Looks like it had cement or some mortar of some kind. It's not your classic dry stain dike. Maybe some folks have helped themselves because this was done a long time ago. I imagine all that the remnants and the mortar would have been washed away in the rain. So it probably has been a bit of pilfering to support the wall. Uh, yes, the field already has a fence, but well, leave the wall alone, folks. Not sure. Possibly some rocks have come from here as well, but none actually on the ground like the fallen knives. Interesting. Okay. So that's us doing a little bit of snitching, snitching, snooping about. Uh, but, you know, if you want to build it, build it higher with rocks down the, the bank. Hey, Rick, our job is done here. Let's go. Come on. So, again, as always, thank you so much for joining me in my little bushcraft, little adventures out about in the countryside. Round where I live and further afield. Rick and I are now heading back down the hill. We'll have a nice cup of tea. Rick will have a biscuit. And that'll be our job done for today. Okay, thank you. Please like and subscribe if you enjoy this. See you later.